Hi guys, welcome back to another 10 Minute Fridays with your host, Olivia Jonelle. Oh my goodness, new hair, who is this? What? Baby. It's giving like Beyonce, it's giving like, mm, like Brown Aaliyah, I don't know, but I absolutely love it. Tell me what you guys think and if you guys want the details on this hair. But I love it. I love the color. I love everything about it. Now let's get into what this week's episode is about. Y'all, my skin. Yes, I have makeup on. But I have been working on my skincare. A part of my Healing Girl Summer. I want to make sure when I head to Miami this summer, my skin is on 10 out of 10 out of 10. And so the main thing that I do is facials i have me a facial routine so yes it's great to have a normal daily skincare routine i use sephora um i'll drop the products in the description but i love sephora skincare i get the basic um what's the word uh sensitive skin face wash i have the moisturizer and um i use shea butter I use shea butter on uh, when I go to sleep to seal in all the moisture. Now, this facial, this facial, I have been doing it for four years now. Um, So when I break out, I get, I think this is for like most people of color. When we break out, we get these horrible dark spots uh, where the acne used to be. It's ugly, it's terrible, it doesn't look good. And of course, I'm a makeup lover, so I'm gonna wear my makeup. But if your skin is terrible, your skin is gonna show through your makeup. And there's nothing worse than like people being able to know you have makeup on because they can see the dark spots under the makeup. I mean, it's it's not a good look. Um, So you have to make sure even though you wear makeup, that you're taking care of your skin underneath all that makeup, okay? Um, So my favorite facial to do uh, when I'm experiencing dark bags under my eyes or dark marks on my face is a turmeric face mask. Now, I've been seeing this blow up on Instagram. I've seen it blow up on TikTok. And y'all, like, it's like $15, $20 a bottle, and you can make it at home for, like, I mean, probably under $5, okay? So if you want to buy it, I get it. Like, it comes in cute packaging, but we can make this stuff at home. And I'm going to show you how today. So um, I I gather some turmeric. I like to put apple cider vinegar. I like olive oil. I like lemon juice. And I put a little bit of water to make it all a great consistency to put onto my face. Now, warning. Okay, warning. This is messy. And when I say messy, I mean, like, make sure you're wearing a shirt that you don't mind. If it has a yellow stain for the rest of your life, make sure when you wash it off, like, don't wash it off in a white sink or your sink will be tinted yellow. Do not use a rag that you plan to use again. You're probably going to want to throw it away afterwards. And like, Honestly, I recommend doing it outside because once it dries, it crinkles and cracks. And like if it drops on anything, carpet, anything, it's yellow and it's not turning back whatever color it was before. So you're welcome. They don't say this, but you're welcome. It stains and it stains really, really bad, but it's so worth it. It even will stain your oh that stutter it even will stain your skin a little bit but don't worry it will come off in a day maybe two um but I like to think of that as it like um lightening your skin even more so let me go over some benefits of the products that I put in there and why I put it in there okay all right so first of all the turmeric that's the most important part I can do a turmeric face mask literally with just turmeric and water I add all the extra bells and whistles for social media and sometimes just for like 
extra like um extra face masky stuff like yes yeah, so it helps but like turmeric and water will do the same thing um but turmeric is amazing it helps heal your acne it lightens hyperpigmentation it helps with your dull skin girl your skin will be bright like the sun literally yellow <laughs> um it reduces dark circles it protects against environmental damage um for me, that's like, especially during the summer, when you have dark marks and you're letting the sun hit your face, um, and you're not wearing your sunscreen, your dark marks get darker. And so you want to make sure you are continuously lightening those, especially during the summer. Um, it helps premature aging. When it does, when I say that, it means like it tightens your skin. It's a natural toner. So after doing this face mask for a couple of days in a row, you're going to start noticing your skin just appearing more tighter, youthful, beautiful, glowy, love it. Um, and it could help uh, psoriasis and eczema. I don't have neither of those, um, but I don't doubt it because it definitely makes your skin beautiful. Apple cider vinegar. Um, it smells gross, but everyone knows you drink it. It's good for you um, as long as you dilute it. And putting your face mask is amazing for your face mask diluted as well. Um, apple cider vinegar has antibacterial and antifungal properties. It can help kill bacteria and yeast on the skin related to conditions like acne, eczema, and dandruff. Um, so definitely I wouldn't put a lot in there. I just put like just enough to help with that consistency. Uh, but it's great for clearing up all those like, I don't know if people get those little bumps on their skin like me. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I get these like little tiny bumps. Um, and it'll be like right here. Um, I know I do a lot. Um, helps clear those up, helps take them away. So uh, apple cider vinegar is amazing. Lastly, the lemon juice and the olive oil. The olive oil is really just to add a little bit of, of moisture to the face mask. Um, but the lemon, the lemon juice is uh, an active ingredient in eliminating excess oil for the skin. And so I have a oily T-zone. And so it helps like, y'all see this. Y'all see this. It's just like a flawless, like, non-oily look for your makeup. Um, so definitely add that to the face mask. Um, so, yes, after I'm done with that, your skin, like, after you wash it off, your skin is still going to be slightly yellow. So what I like to do is use witch hazel. I've been um, used the witch hazel and um, with the cotton, like, dab thing, swab thing. <laughs> and uh, get the rest of the uh, turmeric that will come off off and then I lather my face in shea butter okay um, I love to do this facial before bed but if I have to do it in the morning like let's say I'm too sleepy to do it at night then I really especially love to do it before I go to the gym um, so I'll put some shea butter on workout sweat and like the sweat plus the shea butter i don't know it does something but i mean my face hey it's my face is saying everything today <laughs> so yes um that is how i like to do it um i do like to do this face mask two to three days in a row i wouldn't advise buying um the turmeric from like the dollar store for some reason that I don't I don't know what is in that one but it like burns my skin so I would advise getting um, a good quality turmeric ground turmeric to use but yeah doing it two to three days in a row I find is very helpful in removing the marks giving your day your face a few days and then getting right back to it um, until you start seeing the problem areas completely diminish. Now, I don't just do this on my face. So, like, if my legs, if my uh, feet, 
uh, arms, if I'm experiencing any other, excuse me, dark marks on my skin, I will put it on there. Like I said, it gets messy. I have <laughs> a few things uh, in my house that is stained with turmeric, um, but definitely so worth it to do all over your body to get rid of unwanted dark marks. It's good for your um, zucchini area, get rid of any razor marks, um, razor bumps that have turned into black marks, all that good stuff. So yeah, that is my uh, killer secret face mask that I use quite often, especially before I go on any important trip. So I can make sure my skin is nice, glowy, and beautiful with and without makeup. So yeah, thank you guys for spending another Friday with me. I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. If you have tried this face mask, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me see your results. Go ahead and post it. Tag me in it. Thank you. Please make sure you're like, sharing, and subscribing and commenting guys like i see y'all watching but y'all not commenting say something you know it helps with the algorithm so i would appreciate your support at least uh by commenting and just saying that you enjoyed the content or something that you got from the content that you did not know before um so yeah i will see you guys next friday and i love you very much bye